Hey, good people. Welcome back to Monique's Book List. So we are here to film another video. Um, and a few things. <laughs> I noticed that I roll my eyes a lot in my videos and it's when I'm trying to think of something or recall something or if I'm stumbling over words. And sometimes I look off to the left because looking at myself while I'm talking is a little weird for me still. So I apologize. I'm trying to get better at both those things. I'm trying not, I almost did it. I'm trying not to roll my eyes. I'm trying to make eye contact more with the camera and talk to you guys and all that kind of stuff. So I said all that to say, Again, welcome back to my channel. And we are here to do, I don't know if this is a tag that other people have done. I just wanted to do it because I like talking about books. So it is movies versus books or basically uh, movie book versus TV, movie, uh, animation. So I, I have about... 60 books in this little thing here, this little bag, which I got. This bag came from my in-laws with my birthday gift in it. And I love the bag, so I kept it. So it has 50 books that I have in here that I have read and I've watched the uh, movie or TV adaptation of the book. Um, um, there's also graphic novels in here and there's also comic books because there have been some comic books that have comic, comic book series that have TV or movies based off of them too. So um, I have a few prompts. Where did I put those prompts? I think I still have them over here. Basically, it's uh, which did I prefer um, and uh, which would I recommend and would I read would I read the movie read the book again or watch the which would I do first again read the book or watch the movie and that's interesting because there are a few in here that I like both the movie and the book. And it would be interesting to determine which one I would do based off the two. So I'm going to give myself a, at most, 20 minute time. I'm, I'm going to try to keep it under five. But with me doing the little extra talk you talk about at the beginning, I want to also just give myself, I don't want to feel rushed. So just to give you a clue of what I have in here, some of the ones I have in here, of course, I have Harry Potter, I have... All the YA stuff that most people like in here. I shouldn't say most. I have a lot of the heavy hitter YA in here. Then I also have some stuff like The Color Purple, which I've read the book and I've watched the movie. And uh, Castle, which is a TV series that has books. So I kind of have a bit of everything from, you know, everything. And I'm going to do two at a time. I'm going to hope I get to 15 in 15 minutes. Um, or 16 in 15 minutes, uh, or as many as I can get to in 15 minutes. So let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Two at a time. Let's see which two I have. I have a Christmas Carol by, uh, Charles Dickinson. And I have the Carmen Strike series. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so I've, uh, Okay, so it's kind of the Christmas Carol. It's kind of hard because what... <laughs> so the Christmas Carol, when it was written by Charles, Charles Dickinson, it was actually his manifesto against capitalism, just, just to say that out loud. The, he wrote it because he wanted to show people that uh, we, became, we have become greedy with capitalism, which is hilarious because in the time that he wrote it in, you're like it wasn't really bad then it's you know it's bad now but it wasn't bad then or in my mind looking back on it it wasn't that bad so uh I said all that to say I do not like the Disney production production of it I don't like the oh he just got visited by a few ghosts and you don't they don't stick true to the essence of the story of, of Charles Dickinson's purpose of the Christmas Carol which is kind of a downer so I understand why they didn't who wants to read a story about you know, down with capital capitalism at Christmas time. Who wants to do that? Nobody, right? So, <laughs> um, I understand. But so no, I don't like the Disney. I don't like any version except the one with uh what's his name? Jim Carrey, because it does actually show more of the manifesto in it. A Christmas Carol wasn't even actually the name of the book. He didn't like it called Christmas Carol because he said it made it sound cheerful when that's not what's his purpose. This book was so misunderstood, like people didn't even understand the purpose of this book because this book is what created 
what we believe Christmas is. Like, you know, snow and uh, all that stuff. He's considered the father of Christmas, like the, the father of modern day Christmas because of this book. But this book is actually a, I don't know if it's a communist manifesto or if it's just a, it's probably more of a, um, a socialist manifesto against capitalism. Just saying. Real crazy history story. Sorry. <laughs> and then the Cameron Strike series, which is the series that J.K. Rowling writes under her pen. And I think it's, again, I never... I never, oh, oh, I was not talking to you. Sorry. Sorry. Um, of course I was, oh, it's the, uh, it's written under the pen, Robert, I can never remember the last name, but it's J.K. Rowling and it's her series that she wrote about a retired, uh, military, um, officer who's now a private detective and he he's an amputee so all of that plays into the story because of it's just part of who he is the common strike series is modern day it's set in england london to be exact it is very dark the first book is called the the cuckoo is calling um check out the giveaway um and uh, if it hasn't closed and uh i like it so i did watch the tv series that they created uh in the uk and i like it i would out of the two of these based of the productions of a christmas carol um i would suggest both i would i would suggest both um but i would reread the carmen strike series before i would reread the christmas carol all right I'm not going to get to 15. So, all right, two more. Okay, so we have the girl with the dragon tattoo and Hunger Games. Oh, these are good. So the girl with the dragon tattoo, we all know, is a Swedish story, or it's written by a Swedish author about a girl who is um, a detective or works with a detective or works with a journalist, a uh, um and they go try to solve this missing person's case from this wealthy family um, because she keeps getting, or one of the main characters keeps getting cards from that person who's missing on her birthday every year. I believe everyone knows the premise of this book. This series is crazy dark. I have only been able to get through the first book. I watched the movie. The movie was easier to watch than, than to read the book, actually, because the book is way darker than the movie. Um, yeah. So then Hunger Games, of course, it's the Hunger Games. I like them both. I would reread both of them and I would suggest, I would recommend both of them. If I had to recommend one over the other, I would re recommend the Hunger Games over the girl with the dragon tattoo. All right. Two more. So we have four. So we have Father Brown. I don't remember the name of the author. And To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I have watched the movie To Kill a Mockingbird. I have read the book To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, Father Brown is is a um, Catholic priest who solves murders. And Father Brian, Brown is a TV series on uh, the BBC's America channel and on Netflix and on Amazon Prime if you purchase it. I've I've watched the series. I watch it religiously. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, I do watch it. I do. I actually watch it when I don't have anything else to watch. If I'm sewing or something, I watch it. Um, I would suggest the TV series. Um, the books are kind of they're dated, so they kind of they they haven't aged well. So I wouldn't recommend them. And To Kill a Mockingbird, I I absolutely won't pick up that book or watch that movie again. I don't know why anybody would do that on purpose. All right, we're up to eight. Okay. So the magician, me, Ms. It's not going to happen. Mus, magicians, the magicians, and the uh, chocolate chip cookie murder. Uh, the chocolate chip cookie murder is a murder mystery book series about, um, Am I getting this right? Okay, about a girl, about a young lady who lives in East Lake, 
Minnesota, which is a fake city. Um, and she solves murders and she's also a baker. Uh, and then of course the magicians, uh, which everyone compares to Harry Potter. And I wish people would friggin' stop doing that. This book, nor this mo- this TV series is is anything except the fact that there's there's magic. People go to a school. It is nothing like Harry Potter. So people stop saying that BS is nothing like Harry Potter. Um, the book moved incredibly slow. The TV series is incredibly slow. So I would not recommend either. Uh, if you like cozy murder mysteries, you would like this series. Uh, if you want to check out the TV shows, they are on the Hallmark Channel. Um, and I think you would like them if you like Cozy Murder Mysteries. Okay, so let me pick two more. So that's, I'm at 10. American Gods, Around the World in 80 Days. So Around the World in 80 Days, of course, if it's Around the World in 80 Days. Um, the movies with Jackie Chan and... Uh, I don't know if the the uh, British actor, I don't know his name, but it also has like a bunch of famous actors in it. Like it has the, the Owen brothers, the O oh, is it the Owen brothers? Yeah, the Owen brothers. Wilson brothers. It's Owens. It's Owen brothers. You know what I'm talking about. Luke and Wil Luke. No, it's not the Owen brothers. They're the Wilson. Wil Wil <sighs> It's the dude, those two brothers with the crooked nose. One is blonde and one is a brunette. You know who I'm talking about. They're in it. They play the um, Wright brothers. Um, what's her name? Kathy Bates is in it. She plays the Queen of England. There's a ton of famous people in the movie, but the main stars are Jackie Chan and the British actor, by whose name I don't remember. This book was amazing. Um, I listened to this book, and I don't remember what production put on this book. But they made it crazy interesting. So I would not only suggest this book, but I would suggest you listening to it, uh, an audio book of this. Uh, American Gods, the TV series. I watched the first season of it. Um, I I like to see... (laughs) I like the TV series of what I saw. Um, I stopped watching it because we got rid of the channel that it was on. And the book pissed me off. The ending pissed me off. It pissed me off. It pissed me off. Now, the TV show and the book are slightly different. The TV show has uh, a few extra gods and the book do. So keep that in mind. But um, would I recommend that? I'm not a huge... I think his name is what? Neil... I forget his last name, but he wrote Stardust and he also wrote, um, he wrote another, oh, uh, the Owen, the Owen, what is the one with the demon and the angel working together? I just did a tag with uh, talking about that book. Anyway, he, he's, he's, I, 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 I said all that to say I I didn't enjoy his, his, his other, his other, uh, book. Didn't enjoy it. Um, the Stardust... Oh, that's in here probably. But yeah, I didn't enjoy it. So I, did, I I don't know if I would suggest American Gods. I mean, I guess it's interesting to hear, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of... I don't know. All right. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And the Fantastic Beasts and Where You Can Find Them. I saw the movie... Uh, read the book. The book is technically, it is a textbooks. It is technically a textbook. It is not a story. It is a textbook. Um, so if you keep that in mind, yes, I would suggest this because it adds, it's, it's helping you build more character on the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So like that, and then, uh, ages of Quidditch, that's a good read to add on to it. Um, and then there's these three short stories that give you background on like McGonagall and uh, a bunch of the teachers. I would I would go get those. Those those for me. I couldn't get physical copies. I got e copies from Amazon. I would suggest that. I would suggest for you to go get those and read those. Um, I would suggest that. Then we all know the movie is completely different than the book. Um, the book, the movie is about the gentleman while he's writing the book that the actual book that you read. The Line of Witch in the Wardrobe. Um, if I would have knew it was religious-based, uh, I probably wouldn't have read it because I don't like 
uh, I don't like hidden agendas. Um, but it, I actually enjoyed the story and I've seen every production of A Lion, Witch in a Wardrobe and I would recommend it. Yeah. And I would recommend the story. It's middle grade. I would recommend it. All right. So we got a little bit of time. So two more and then we're done. The Da Vinci Code and The Great Gatsby. I actually had grabbed three, so I'll do all three. It's Sleepy Hollow. Okay. So The Da Vinci Code, the movie, I watched the movie with my with the second man I have always loved with everything in me, Tom Hanks. Don't ask me why. I have always loved Tom Hanks. I have seen every single movie he has been in. I've even seen a movie called uh, Monsters and Mazes. That's how much I love that man. That movie was god-awful. I was able to buy it unopened for $1.50. That is how bad that movie is. But anyway, I saw Da Vinci Code. I like the movie. The book is incredibly boring. It's just boring. I don't know what it is about Dan Brown. I just don't enjoy his writing. Sleepy Hollow. Uh, yeah, I've seen every um, version of Sleepy Hollow. I did not like the one with Christina Ricci and uh, Johnny Depp. But I have read the the short story or novel. I think it's a short story. I would suggest that I was, I would suggest to read it at Halloween or even in fall, which is coming up. And the Great Gatsby. I don't like this book. Um, I did like the newer version of the Great Gatsby because of the music, but that is about it. I did not like that. So I have I technically have two minutes. So I'm gonna do as many as I can. I don't like any of these. <laughs> so, all right, all right. I'm going to do these two no matter what. Castle and Bitten. Okay. All right. So Castle, of course, is a TV series about a, de a writer and a detective being settled together because the writer wants to write a TV series or write a, a novel series about the detective. The book's are basically the TV show in written form. Um, I would recommend the books if you just want to feel at home again in that world. Yes, I would recommend the books and the TV series. Bitten. Bitten is about... <laughs> Bitten is about a female werewolf who is the only of her kind in this, in this, uh, in this world that... In this world... And she survived the bite, and now she's in a pack with a bunch of dudes, and one she's in love with. And he's not, he's not, um, I don't know how to say it. They basically, she basically wants to be over him, and yeah. And then they have to fight some other people because they're coming on their turf. Anyway, the TV show, I really like the TV show, so I thought I would like the book. This book, that book was so boring. It was the first time, and I actually listened to it. It was the first time I actually returned the book to Audible. That's one great thing about Audible. If you don't like a book, you're able to return it for another book. Um, so that was cool. But that was the first book I ever returned. It was it was bad. I had to listen to it on 2.5 to get through it. This is before... I knew the concept of DNF and, you know, do not finish. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to get through that book. And I, the whole time listening to it, I was like, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. It never got better. It was an awful book. I would not suggest it. I would not suggest a series. Um, the TV series, it's okay. It kind of gets redundant. So I wouldn't suggest that either. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so yeah, so we did a few. I think I did more than 15. I think I did more than 16 actually. But anyway, uh, have, tell me about any book versus movie comparisons that you would like, that you, uh, that, that you, I don't even know where I was going with that. I'm getting a little tired. It's very late. Let me start over. So tell me or in the comments, list any book TV comparisons that you would recommend. I I'm all about new uh, new TV shows that I can watch when I want to watch them. So they have to be on some type of 
um, streaming service or on some type of demand so I can go grab them when I want to because your girl is busy. But that's it. Um, until next time, bye.